Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadijah. Yes, 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 I'm still not on camera right now. I'm in a, um, a, a dark picture frame. However, I got to get these videos out, and there have been a few things that have been on my chest. So when I go to the other uh, room, I'll be able to um, hopefully do a couple videos where I'm inside the camera. But in the meantime, how you doing, family? I just want to get a couple of videos out here, and I want to make some clarification. Okay, to Tim, I wanted to say this. Per our conversation. You know, I don't, I mean, our conversation, let me start it like this for those, let me give you a backstory. Tim was saying how a lot of, um, you know, he, he, he doesn't lie and because this whole thing happened to be, you know, a, with Umar Johnson, Brother Polite voice walkings and, and just people lying in general and that's what started the conversation so what I wanted to make sure that I made clear and we didn't get the chance to to, to really get to the gist of it and I'm going to respond this way is everybody include myself tells lies if you meet somebody, they tell you they never tell a lie. You need to run away from that person as soon as possible. Okay, because statistics say, manuals say that pretty much married couples lie to each other one out of every ten words that come out of their mouth. College students lie to their parents one out of the five times that they talk to them. When you meet a stranger, he's lied to you three times in a matter of, I think it's 10 minutes. How many times have someone asked you how they looked in something or if the person was very sensitive and you know that person and they asked you did they look fat in the outfit and how many times have you said well no 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 you don't look like you've gained a few pounds when you know damn well they they did how many of y'all have done that okay so those are lies as well but they're white lies there are some lies that are harmless there are some lies i, I mean I've allowed older people to call me Mabel. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not fucking Mabel. And I'm not going to sit there and argue with a 90-year-old person to keep saying, Hey, hey, my name is Khadija. My name is Khadija. Don't call me Mabel. Don't call me. It would be stupid, in my opinion. Because I know who I be. And I don't be Mabel. Mabel, Mabel, come here, Mabel. I mean, just a freaking joke. But the person is so old, I mean, I, duh. So because I responded to her, I'm lying because my name is not Mabel. But so what I'm trying to say, Tim, is I understand that there are lies that are harmless. But if you are telling me, and, and the lies that you tell may come up under one of those kind of... Um, uh, uh, um, you know, one of those types, one of those components. You could lie, and it could be harmless lies. So therefore, you think you don't lie. And I'm okay with that. I'm just saying, if there's anybody anywhere that says they never lied, then they're lying. They're lying. Little babies, kids, you come right to your damn little child. How many of y'all told your damn kids about Santa Claus and, and all that damn uh, fairy tale stuff? How many of you have done that? Those lies. Those are lies. Rudolph the Red Nose. You couldn't think of no more imagination stories than some lies like that. A fat man coming down the chimney to give you uh, presents. Lies. 
Okay? So, yes, we all are guilty. Now, let's start talking about the narcissistic part and the the part where you know that your lies are harmless or if you know your, your lies are detrimental. You have narcissists and pathological liars that open up their mouth and everything that comes out is a lie. You don't know what the hell they're talking about because they every time their mouth moves, it's a lie coming out of it. This is what narcissistic people, and I don't think a lot of y'all really understand what narcissism is because we overuse it, you know, a lot. And I think, um, you know, and what has happened is a lot of people don't like to read. And they even brag about that they're, they don't read much. And so you have a lot of people also that grew up in an area where their mothers might have used crack. So they had crack babies. Babies that are running around now who came to birth drenched in cocaine. And they don't have very long attention spans. Attention spans. So I try to encourage them. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody. I try to encourage people that um, have come to birth addicted to substances to get audio books but you still have to read you cannot not cultivate your mind if you don't use it you will lose it and that is what's wrong with a lot of my African American my black folk we have have lost the ability to use the muscle of the brain and we become extremely totally emotional Okay, just emotional. And so with that being said, when you deal with people that's extremely and highly and critically and just emotional. How can you sit here and tell me that with all that energy and all that uh, craziness going on, that there's not some lies being told? There's plenty of lies being told. However... The people are so sick that if you confront them on their lies or tell them like, you know, um, are you sure that that happened? Because uh, I saw uh, Mary and they said that they didn't take your purse. You actually, um, it was, you actually gave it to her because you owed her. You see what I'm saying? I'm just making that up, of course. But you got some people, if you talk to them like that, they'll get upset because you're not supposed to expose their lies. You're not supposed to um, say anything to them because they're lying. OK, it's the same concept like if you lend somebody some money and um, they don't pay you back and then all of a sudden they get mad at you because you ask you for your money back. So now y'all got a problem with each other because you asked for the money back that they borrowed from you. So I figured out a good practice for that. If you got the money, just give it to them. If you don't have it, you don't got it. Okay? If you don't have it, meaning if you can't give it to them without asking for it back, then don't do it. Don't do it. Because you will lose a friendship. Because they'll start lying, or they, you know, they'll act like they don't know that they owe you. And um, they're bad paymasters, as the old folks say. <laughs> hey, bad. They don't mind borrowing, but they don't want to pay you back. See, their whole being is dishonest. You got people that walk around here like that. Their whole being is just dishonest and a lot of us in this community have normalized that kind of behavior it's dysfunctional it should be a problem for you to you came and asked me for some money to give it back to me okay i'm not even talking about if you don't pay a, a bill or something like that i'm not even talking about that okay that's another uh form of it but i'm saying even on your interpersonal level interpersonal relationships you feel that way. That's a problem. 
So, Kim, what I'm trying to say is lies when I said that. I don't believe you don't lie. I believe that you tell harmless lies. Like a lot of us. Okay? Some people call them white lies, harmless lies. Some people say you shouldn't lie, you don't lie, you didn't lie at all. I don't believe that. And I still believe it's the intent in which you do something. Is what makes it right or wrong. That's just my opinion. Okay? Alright. Hope I answered that. Like what you hear. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to try to get a couple videos out. Um, I'm going to be back in a minute, y'all. Well, y'all can look back on camera. But I just wanted to make sure I get something out. And um, converse with my family. Y'all leave y'all comments below. Tell me what you think uh, about lies. And was I wrong for saying that? Do y'all feel the same way? Do you feel like... Uh, some people tell lies that are harmless and some people when they open up their mouth lies are coming out they're, de they're detrimental type of lies um, and that and if we normalize that kind of behavior okay all right in a minute fam bye bye